freaking weekend. I got a bagel. It's green. It's printed red. Very Christmassy, even though it's January. Um, we're watching Undercover Boss on TLC. I have to take my makeup off. I look like a trash bucket. Just watching the crown. What? I tried to turn it off, and I decided I don't. That's a series I don't like watching without you with me. Because I've never seen it. I want you to watch Downton Abbey. I'll watch Downton Abbey if you watch The Crown. We'll alternate episodes. Start at the beginning. Oh. I also want to watch The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon. The lighting was all weird. I looked very dark, but. This weekend, it's Saturday. I have no plans other than just kind of getting myself ready for my trip on Thursday to Ireland. So, yeah, that's all. Bye. Hey guys, so I was gonna vlog when I went to the grocery store, but I went to film and realized I left my SD card in my laptop from when I was editing earlier this morning. So I did not get any footage of that, but I went to the grocery store and I went to Starbucks and I picked up a prescribed toothpaste or whatever from my dentist, but I thought I would do a grocery haul of all the groceries that I got. All right, so starting with the grocery haul, we have almond milk, vegan butter, half and half milk, and um, turkey breast, cheese, and roast beef. As you guys know, I'm a vegan, so I won't be taking part in these items here. These are from the deli. Also picked up some sparkling water. We have lemon, black cherry, and a special edition peach and ginger. And then two things of Tropicana no pulp. We got some fabric softener, some laundry detergent, and bleach. Okay, now over here, kind of laid it out. We have our unhealthy things. I have Oreos that are actually vegan. If you did not know, Oreos are vegan. But I'm going to be making a cake, which is why I also bought another thing of vegan butter. I just opened a new one, but I'm gonna be making a cake um, that's like cookies and cream, Oreo E. So get excited for that. I think I might make it today. Um, I have some yellow popcorn. This was cheaper to get in like the big Y bag than it was to get like an Orville Redenbacher. Like it was like half the cost for just as many kernels. So popcorn is one of my favorite things to make as a snack. I just add some vegan butter to it and a little bit of salt and it lets me control the like nutritional calories or whatever um, by doing it myself. Then we have some white torn tortilla chips and some mild salsa, it's Thomas's favorite snack. He also asked for some kettle cooked potato chips. So I got a small bag of these original sea salt. It's not small, but it's not like a huge bag if you see the size difference between the tortilla chips. And then I also got this one because they're on sale and um, they're like two for something. So I try and got, they're like two for something. So I got a rosemary and olive oil to try because I love rosemary. All right, so we got this white distilled Distilled white vinegar for my mom. That's something she requested. Some tampons, very fun. Uh, craisins, also a request from Julie. For my dad, he really likes these Amy's burritos. They're non-dairy. They're essentially just beans and rice in a tortilla. Then we have some organic instant oatmeal variety packs, some K-cups. Moving into fruit, we have strawberries, avocado, oranges, pears, Apples, we have two gala and three something else. I forget. Two gala, three Fuji. Maybe it was three gala, two Fuji. I don't remember, but we have five apples. Got some bananas, then I got some organic tempa, um, some original hummus, mushrooms, and Skippy all natural peanut butter. I don't eat that. I like the Teddy's brand, but my parents are trying to get my brother off of the Skippy creamy peanut butter and you know gonna try the natural kind to see if he likes it next we have classic saltine crackers and seven grain sea salt pita crisps these are for soup these are for hummus and dipping into things then i got some brown basmati rice because bas basmati rice goes really well in indian food and i have some indian recipes that I kind of want to try and then I also have this roasted garlic and olive oil couscous from near east which I really like moving over here we have two things paper towels and two things of Thomas's Eggo homestyle waffles then for veg we have a lot of veg going on we got carrots we got a cucumber we got a zucchini celery 
uh, green pepper, cauliflower, broccoli, green leaf lettuce, spring mix, baby kale, baby spinach. Then we have some black beans, corn, roasted chicken noodle soup for my dad, a quinoa kale and red lentil soup for me, um, and some whole wheat bread and some fajita tortillas. And I think that is everything. So now I'm going to put it all away. Whip together a quick salad with some butter leaf lettuce, some spinach and some spring mix with chopped strawberries and walnuts and balsamic and then I had more of the mixture that I used to make the spinach and artichoke quesadillas so I made it a small one with the little fajita tortillas that I bought and mom's gonna have this as well there's extra salad and she's gonna try my my uh, quesadilla so I just made um, a cake <laughs> it's not finished yet um, we got three tiers of vegan chocolate cake cooling they look like they came out really good, so hopefully, I think the parchment might have made a weird pattern in the sides of them, but hopefully I can cover that up with the icing, which is the star of the show, guys. This frosting, holy heck, it's so decadent. It is a, excuse you, can you be a little quieter, please? You put the wrong derp in. You put the wrong derp in? So what we call the little pieces from Ikea. Mom's finally putting together Daniel's dresser. Okay, hold on, Ma. It is a vegan buttercream Oreo frosting, and it is delicious. It's basically vegan butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, um, dairy-free milk, and crushed Oreos, and it is so good. But Mom's over there. Well, she's not now. She just walked. There she is. You gotta get it out. Um, she is making Daniel's dresser for his room. It matches the one that's like currently in there. So he has like this four drawer dresser. Hey Dan. He's this four drawer dresser and she's going to put the three drawer here. So all of this equipment can go in the drawer and it won't like take up so much visual space. It'll look nicer. It's the same color as the bookshelf. <coughs> Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. So it'll help make your room a little bit nicer looking because, you know, he has a lot of stuff and necessities and it feels a little bit cluttered the way this looks under the TV. So the dresser will help. The doggies are saying, you know, we would really like it if you let us have something to eat. It would be really good. Yes, it would. It would be very good. If we could have some of that meat, I smell it. Up here, we got two different pasta dishes going on tonight. We got a creamy vegan mushroom onion with some meatless balls, spaghetti for mom and I. Over here, we got like a spaghetti bolognese. We got some ground beef, onion, garlic, tomatoes, basil, yummy spaghetti, all for the boys. Then we got some broccoli sauteed up with some garlic. Don't mind the giant cake. There's a salad on the table. Oh yeah, let's take a second for this giant freaking Oreo cake that I made. Holy heck, it's perfect. She's a little lopsided. Um, but I'm excited to eat this. Aren't you? It's gonna be good eats tonight. It's like Sarah's restaurant tonight. Who should I hire as the dishwashing boy? Who's gonna be my kitchen staff? I'm gonna eat the cake. 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 I need some assistance in the kitchen. Thomas! Dina! You think that if you screamed enough, they would come. But no, here I am. I'm just trying to get all the food on the table and no one's helping me. Where are they, they say. They say, Sarah, you make me dinner. Sarah, you do this. Sarah, you do that. But where are they when it comes to the hard work, you know? I don't know what accent I'm speaking in. It kind of started off as French and then went to something weird. Oh, yes, mushrooms. I love the mushrooms. I need some assistance in the kitchen. They come down? No, there are no boys to be seen. They are not here. Thomas? Dinner. I need Thomas. I need Dad. John? 
I need them with with very hungry bellies because I made too much pasta. That's for sure. Thomas, I need your help. I need some assistance in the kitchen. What's this going on? Um, Thomas and Dan. Identical. They can have whatever. There's more if they need more. Um. Mine's the one with the meatless balls. Yours is the one heavy on the mushrooms. What do we have? Spaghetti bolognese. Sarah made a thing. Here you go. Put that on the table if that's for you. Got the other one that's for me. Okay. Oh, my finger is all dirty, but I got to wash my hands real quick, everyone, and then we can have our food. Thomas, can you put the broccoli on the table, please? Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Oh, mom got the seat with all the stuff on it. Maybe that's our way of telling you, clean it up, woman! So over here, we have our spaghetti blown the nays with some onion sauteed. And then we have a salad, or as a pearl would say, or Spongebob, we will say salad. Then we have my mushroom and garlic creamy pasta with some meatless balls. You sound a little Asian. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> this broccoli is very good. Chinese, what you, you want? sound almost Chinese. Uh, that's what I was going for. Catch me outside. How about that? Who's that? What is that? <gasps> who's there? Oh my god, who's out there? I think there's a scary man out there. Why are we Kurt? I don't know. Closer. The light! The light's coming in! It burns. I love wine glasses and get the tin foil. What? Can you not? Plot twist, or like, spoiler alert, Thomas. The cups of water kill the aliens. I farted. Hmm. <sighs> meltdown please uh, set the reset button uh, stop stop it's a tsunami warning Shh. you know what would be really nice if everyone stopped making noise Daniel, turn your TV off! there is no such thing as silence in this house the clock is clicking. the clock is clicking Thomas is playing a goddamn flute and Daniel's watching a movie we're watching The Bachelor on my iPad well we're watching The Bachelor on the TV and video chatting on my iPad. This, this is, is a real mission. This is what happens when you don't have friends in your town. You end up um, talking to them this way. I would do this even if I had friends in my town. I would invite them over to my house. I say, let's crack open the wine, ladies. Brian, you're still a lady. <laughs> ah! right, we'll have I'm some. Ready. I'll have some snacks. Well, I'm ready for the Roseanne commercial. Gosh darn it, Roseanne. Guys, I have to carry this sleeping puppy to her crate. Because she fell asleep on the couch. Holly. Come on. Oh. 
Come here. Let's go to bed. She fell asleep while Sarah was watching The Bachelor with all of her friends on FaceTime or Google Hangouts or whatever it was. Good night, Daniel. Oh my gosh, I almost stepped on a giant piece of wood on the floor. All right, come on, Bebo. Let's go night nights. Oh, good girl. Still sleeps in her crate because she um, still has accidents. Theo, come on, let's go have cuddles. So if we let her sleep in the bed, she might um, get out of the bed and go potties on the floor. So she still has to sleep in her crate. But Theo, where are you, buddy? He is ready for a snuggle. That's for sure. Oh, there's dog shit in my room. Great. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Today is Friday. Woohoo! It's the weekend. Yeah. Um, you guys are probably like, no, it's not, Sarah. You're probably not uploading this on a Friday. And that's because when I went 